hello, Ethan. Uh, how are you doing today? We've, uh, we've held you captive in here. I mean, well, last I'm, time. I'm doing rather well, thank you. How well you are you doing? You did storm my apartment building and um, kidnap me. Well, that was all that, that was all part of the plan. That was right there. Mm. Um, would yeah. you like me to put anything on for you? Um, you know, anything, any uh, leisure or... Leisure? I would, I would love a good potato. Oh, that, that seems like a good choice. Oh, what a surprise. There he is now. <laughs> Outside. Hey guys! Sorry oh. I was late uh, work, you know. How convenient of you to show up! Yeah, Barbara being a bitch, you know. Who's Barbara? Stry, My it. assistant. <clears throat> oh, hello. Uh, hey Ethan. So, uh, oh, hey, yeah, we've, we've held uh, Ethan captive here. He did help us, but uh, I'm having my desk back with my family hey. because last hey. time you stole my family. No, you're not, it's mine. That right there is blasphemy. <laughs> Get in your chair, fag. Okay. So yeah, uh, w uh, welcome back to tea time. We have our desk back, and yeah, we've held uh, Ethan captive because yeah, yep. he mm -hmm. he tried to frame a voice in the sky. We arrested that voice, and he said it wasn't even me. It yeah, was Ethan. It's, it's just in, you know just a bad man. Uh, we've got the lovely view of Shambles Way. Um, so yeah, we're we're gonna get on with our tea, tea time. Tea time talks, whatever it's called. Tea time like. talks. Yeah, tea time talks. Ethan has anything um, to say. You um, may say it. I, I'm uncomfortable. I, it's, it, don't just ignore the, him, everyone. The, <laughs> the ropes are too tight. It, uh... <laughs> uh, so, Kai, do you want to start us off with a story? I remembered a story and then I didn't. So okay, I so Ethan, Ethan, start. I think I think you should start. Ethan. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Um, where do I begin? Hmm. Well, one day, one I was um, finding day. my own euphoric business. Is it a summer wandering, day? Is wandering it? down the street? It was a, quite the nice summer day. Oh yeah. And um, well, first of all, is this a real story? No. You are a douchebag, hold on, Kai. Alan, please! Alan, I like your Ow. way of thinking. Yeah. Next time, it'll be a knife. So, Ethan, do you want to tell us a real story? A real story. It can either be recent, or it can be a Past. long time ago. Well, in a land very far away. Shut up. What kind of story lived. would you gents like? <laughs> Any. Anything involving you hurting yourself or becoming pulverized. Or being me, embarrassed. Me hurting myself. Mm. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> well, there was there's one incident that Alan has been mocking me wait, over. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up. I... Hold up. One incident. Okay, if it's this the is recently. It's... Oh, no, okay. it's. It's the um the scar on my lip. Uh, oh. No, I've already. I think I've Alan, already. No. I think I've already mentioned this. Editing powers Alan. took that out. I think. Did they? Oh, good. Yeah, <laughs> the, I the think editing so. Gods took Alan, that. I'm not sure. I want to see Ethan's point of view. Alan recently looked at my lip and noticed a scar, and asked me, "Where whereabouts did this scar come from?" And I, I informed him of my. My first proper day of primary school, and I was running about like a little kid does, whilst my parents were talking to a teacher, and I ended up running into a fence and splitting my lip open. Now this, this is a, this is a question I asked Alan before. <clears throat> if you're mm. running to a fence. I'm yeah. running to a fence. Yes. And you've got you... things that point out of the front end of you that are further out than your lip yeah how does your how does your lip get broken first why not uh, what kind of things bigger than my lips are you talking about uh, nothing Kai? nothing down below obviously are you do you that... mean things like my nose yes 
and well, you see, the fence wasn't. Alan, 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 put the knife away. Alan, Alan. I'll do it. Well, you see. You want to be a man? <laughs> Kai. The yes. fence. No pressure. Was lower down than my nose, where I ran into. So it was higher than your neck, and conveniently lower than your nose. What a magical Well, it might fence. have been. <laughs> it might have been one of those, because it has wood going across the beam, so it has like three bits of wood going up. Right. That, that make that makes sense. That makes sense. So I I ran into part of the wood. Yeah. <clears throat> Alan, look, Alan, look this was, way. Oh, I'm looking. Do you agree to this story? I I do. I do agree to. It. I like that story. It was it was entertaining. I like the story too. This is this is a story. This is a tale of quite. You know, nastiness. I'm gonna use this time listening to your story, not listening to it, but thinking of one I can tell. Yeah, that, that's that's a good idea. So this this is a story about um, quite it's quite a nasty tale of a uh, brutal murder. Um, so me and my little brother were in the Philippines on holiday. You know, really nice country, uh, really sunny and warm. You have a brother? No, my younger brother. I don't have an older brother. <laughs> <laughs> and. Um, we, we being the young, young eight-year-olds that we were, were terrified of bugs. And there was this huge cockroach on the balcony. This is huge what? Mm -hmm. Cockroach. What roach? What did you think it was, Kai? A, a cockroach. Uh, a what roach? Yeah, a, a cockroach. Let me let me carry on, child. Or I'll, oh, I'll okay. Um, there, there, this is worse than Catrick Town. Um, <gasps> ooh, Not town, mate. Ooh. It's a village, village. Mert. <laughs> Shut up. It's actually a garrison. <laughs> um, you start something, boy. Oh, I, I jumped on it. You're lucky this seat is stopping me. Okay, continue with your really, really euphemistic story. Hold on. Before you continue, I have one question. And that is? If your brother is younger than you, how can you both be eight? Oh, well, ah, that's I a see. question. Well, he was two years younger than me, so he would have been six. Um, so you lied about you two being a couple of eight-year-olds. Now, Alan, I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> the chairs on my side. Alan, this is this is getting me thinking now. He cut a piece of flesh off me. No, Alan, you attacked Ethan. Uh, you attacked Ethan once. when he got something wrong. Okay, I don't mind this. <laughs> we found this cockroach on the balcony, Whoa. and I, like I put a put a leaf on it, and it like crawled onto the leaf, and I screamed because it was terrifying. Mm. And I like I tried to flick it off the edge of the balcony, but it it instead of going forward, it went backward onto my pair onto my pair of shorts, and it literally right. stuck there on my pair of shorts. Me screaming, jumping up and down like a little girl. Um, finally managed to flick it off, and it fell onto it, it fell off the balcony into a down. Uh, down a big drop, uh, into a puddle, and we thought, you know, all right, it's gonna drown now. So we ran downstairs, and it had, uh, it had swam to a nearby tape measure, and slowly made its way from this puddle onto the ground. We, you know, we got it on a twig again, and Matthew, being the, um, oh, what's the word? Uh, the brainy, brainy one of us thought it'd be a good idea to uh, shove it in a hose pipe. What? Uh, so Matthew got this thing and literally crammed it so it was stuck in this hose pipe and then he told me to go turn it on and I turned it on and this cockroach just blew out of it into this clump of soil. Matthew screamed at it, ran at it with like a, a split piece of wood and jammed it like started stabbing it. Wait a minute. With this wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Listen now, Kai. You keep a big hunk of soil next to a hose pipe. And this hose pipe is big enough and tight enough here to hold a cockroach. <laughs> Cockroaches aren't that big. They must Come be on. big enough to fit in the hose pipe. Yeah. What's wrong with a bit of soil? How do you keep all of these things near each other coincidentally? It was a building site! Oh, so you're a building site now. It was our balcony building site. Our house is getting <laughs> built like this one. The roof isn't done, Ethan. I'm ashamed. So, let down. 
but I'm, worst I'm lost. Couple. Right, and yeah. Personally, right, shut up. I think you're making this up. You want to bet? I will go down and get my father from the hospital. What? I'm my car's so right sorry. there. My car's right there. Sorry for your loss, Alan. It's, it's right. It's just outside. <laughs> just sat there. Yeah, I'll go. And I'll get him. So you my car him also out. happens to be outside because that's where I keep my car. I yeah, ask you your have a child. <laughs> Ethan, 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 Ethan. Okay, continue, Alan. Alan, with your fake story. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, you'd like that. This doesn't look oh, right. God. Did you spit or swallow, Ethan? <laughs> he swallowed the bullet. Oh, oh that's good. About it. <laughs> I think I should and, have um, a story now. I'm not yeah, I, sure. I want Kai's story. How dare you? <clears throat> I've not remembered anything yet. I will slice your toes okay. off, Ethan. I swear to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Alan, please, need the children are watching. And cockroaches, apparently, if you slice the head off, uh, they live for like another week or something like that. It's weird. And Matthew, after repeatedly jamming this snapped piece of wood into it, dropped the wood and walked off. You know, went to sleep. We went back the next day and the cockroach was gone, but the head was still there. And it was, um, like, it was wasn't really pulsing, but it was, like, twitching, and it was scary, and I screamed and ran away. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. Kai, have you, have you thought of one yet, Kai? Um. Oh, yeah, I've remembered now. I've remembered. It involved the co-op, other shops were available, and a bottle of fizzy liquid. <clears throat> oh. Uh, okay. It might not be Go as ahead. interesting as Alan's cockroach story. Mm. Or as interesting as Ethan's uh, <clears throat> lip, uh, bashing lip, story. lip bashing story. Yeah, that's mm. not a euphemism, kids. No. Um. So we'd gone to the co-op after our village had been flooded, as you may know oh. from that really, really awful video I did on my little whatever they were phones, flip yeah. phones. Oh. Our village had flooded because a beck had overflew. So we went to the shop. Everything. We had people going around in canoes and. Stuff like that. What's happening back there? <laughs> so we'd gone to the shop, people were in canoes, and there was like this weird, weird truck thing going going down the thing, down the thing, down the road. Um, and we went to the shop to go get electricity because, you know, we can't live without electricity. We can't do Gmod without electricity. Oh, yeah. So we'd gone down to the shop. I didn't, I'd enjoyed a bit of swimming through these dirty waters. And we got to the shop. Now, half of the shop was flooded, and we had these guys with buckets sort of throwing all the water out. Oh, yeah. We thought it would be a good idea to buy some uh, Fanta. Fanta and Dr. Pepper. Yeah. We bought some, and we went up to the checkout and did all that stuff. And as always, Merks tells me, Smiler, you can grab the bags and take them out. So I went to go take them out, and as, as, we, as we were walking out the door, the bag split, and the door closed on it. <laughs> so, the force of the door closing on it uh, proceeded the, the bottle to explode, and it shot all the way down the little aisle place, where all the bottles are, smashed into all the other bottles, the other bottles fell off, they all exploded, all the milk went everywhere, and it was mixing in with all the water, so nobody knew where anything was. <laughs> and I was just stood there, sort of using the force to try and open the door. You know, like, yeah, yeah. everyone's done that, everyone's done that. We go up to the door, uh -huh. and we're like... I am holy. I have the force right here. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I've got, I've caused I've got... everything to explode. We're getting close. Uh, that is... is. Yeah, we are. I think one more story and. Who's gonna tell the story though? Me. I I Alan. will tell this story. I will tell. How this about story. a joint story that we're all involved in? I don't think anyone's involved in this story. Uh -oh. Um, I went to sleep one Sunday night. You know, bored that I was. You know, it was school in the morning. <laughs> like tonight. <laughs> and. I, wo I woke up, um, and I was staring into the face of my doge. Your doge. And his eyes were open, but they weren't the eyes of my doge. Oh no, they were white. And he was either dreaming with his eyes open, or trying to scare the shit out of me. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, I've got, I've got a so that's what happened. <laughs> I've, got, I've, got, I've got a little three second story too. So. Uh, I was at my dad's this morning. Yeah. We have a bunk bed. And... Back when I was a small yeah. child, 
we still had that bunk bed. I think it was like two weeks yeah. after we got it. And yeah. I was... I used to dream a lot. And they used to scare me. So, I remember a very, very faintly... In fact, not very faintly. I remember a lot about this dream. And it came along so much to me that... It, what are you doing? Uh, uh, nothing. I was just checking something. Yeah, carry on. So, me, I think I was about seven, I think. I... In my dream, I, I think I was, I'm not sure if I was dreaming or not, I got out of my bed, because I'm always on the top bunk, but I'm on the bottom one now, because I'm too lazy to get down. Yeah, um, I understand. I got down off that bunk, and I was very tired, I went into the bathroom, and as I opened the door, there were two red eyes, glowing, <laughs> sat on the toilet, because the toilet went straight ahead, and... I remember this friendly. It was a red dinosaur reading a newspaper. <laughs> and I closed the door. I ran to bed, and I got back in that bed. And I never went to the toilet. I woke up in the morning, and there was it, my bed was very wet. Oh God! Oh Jesus! So, uh. and at that moment, I, I I didn't even think I was dreaming. I thought I just got up to actually go to the toilet. Yeah. But I hadn't. There was like I, I think that was like a weird. That was like a message that one day I'd meet a hellfish. And I think that's ah, what it was. It, it was true. And uh, here I am. Yeah, Strapped true. to a chair. <laughs> I, I think that wraps up today's Tea Time, tea time Tales. And or... it's got to an evening... Uh... What? 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 I was about to say something, I forgot. So you know what oh, I think nice. we should do? What's that? What? Um... To round up, I think we should... Don't kill me, Alan. I happen to be free. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> I didn't think that would even be working. Thank you, Alan. Uh, the jig's up! Run! He's <laughs> dead! They're all dead! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Uh, Alan, you better run. Drive, drive, drive! <laughs>